over there. I see you struggling with the number, but don't have no fear, cause I'm right here. We're gonna grow and learn together, there's no need to despair. My cool light breeze, I'm gonna learn it with ease. So leave your content because I've time to learn. Hey guys, so in today's video, we'll be looking at addition and subtraction, which are known as operations in mathematics because they can be used on a combination of numbers to provide a result. With addition, the result is known as the sum or total, and with subtraction, the result is called the difference. Today, we will be learning the basics of these two operations by working with numbers up to 10. So, let's start off by checking off all the skills we need to learn this topic. First, let's count from 1 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, let's try counting backwards from 10, like a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one. Now, what if I told you that that is all you need to learn today's topic? True, true. All right, let's meet Shanice. Now, Shanice loves mangoes like myself, and while on her way home from school, Miss Williams stopped her and gave her six mangoes to take home. Shanice was already in such a good mood, but when she got home, she was told that her godmother stopped by and left her four more mangoes. And who could have happy like Shanice? Now let's find out how many mangoes she has in total, which we will do by addition. We want to find out the sum of 6 and 4, and there are many ways to do that. Here are three different ways, but a good tip is that when adding, we always start with the bigger number first. So the first step is by using our fingers, we start with the bigger number, so we put up six fingers to represent the six mangoes that Miss Williams gave to Shanice. Then we add four more fingers for the four mangoes she found when she got home. And then we count all the fingers that are up. So by counting, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the answer is ten. Let's try another method. Again, using our fingers, we start with the bigger number, so we put up six fingers, then we add four more fingers. But instead of starting from one, let's start by counting from six. So from six, we would go seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so ten. All right, let's try a third method. Now this is without using fingers. We start by thinking of the bigger number six, and then in our minds, we start counting towards 10, but by four steps. So from six, we would count seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10. Shanice has 10 mangoes in total. Now, it is important to note that this third method involves adding numbers in our minds. So parents, if you're watching, please encourage my students to practice this method without having to write anything down, but instead by thinking of counting up to 10. Now, what if we wanted to know the sum of 6 and 3? Using the third method, we would start by thinking of 6 and counting 3 steps towards 10. So from 6, it would be 7, 8, 9 to get a sum of 9. What about 6 plus 2? Again, we start at 6 and count 2 steps towards 10. So from 6, it would be 7, 8 to get a total of 8. Let's try two more examples. Number one, four plus three. We start at four and then we add three more steps as if we're counting towards 10. So from four, it would be five, six, seven to get a sum of seven. Number two, two plus seven. We start with the bigger number. So we start at seven and count towards 10 by two steps. So from seven, it would be eight, 9 to get a total of 9. Now back to Shanice and her mangoes. I didn't mention this before but Shanice has a little brother, Davion, and her mother says, why don't you give Davion three of your mangoes? Now I know Shanice probably wasn't too happy with that but brothers and sisters have to share, right? 
So know how many mangoes will Shanice have after she gives Davian three of them. In order to find this result, we use subtraction. Here are two methods we can use. So number one, by using our fingers, we start with the total number of mangoes that Shanice has, which is 10. Then we remove three fingers for the number of mangoes that she has to give to Davion. And then we count all the fingers that are left. So by counting, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we get a result of seven. Now the second method is without using fingers, we would start by thinking of the number 10 and we would count down three steps as if we were counting down from 10. So from 10 counting backwards, we would get nine, eight, seven for a result of seven. So the difference between 10 and three is seven. Again, with this second method, we want to ensure that we're able to find the difference in our minds by thinking of counting down from 10. What if it was 10 minus two? Again, we would start at 10 and we would count down two steps. So from 10, it would be nine, eight to get a result of eight. How about 10 minus five? Again, start at 10 and we'd count down five steps. So from 10, it would be nine, eight, seven, six, five for a result of five. Let's try two more examples. Number one, eight minus two. We start at eight and we count down two steps from eight. So from eight, it would be seven, six for a result of six. How about the difference between nine and six? We start at nine and we would count down six steps. So from nine, it would be eight, seven, six, five, four, three, for a result of three. And that concludes today's lesson, looking at the basics of addition and subtraction. Today we looked at various questions showing how to find the sum of and the difference between two numbers, even though I think that the real question is how come Shanice's mom ended up with none of the mangoes? Now this is the first in a series of four videos looking at these two math operations. In the upcoming video we'll be taking a step further by looking at how to add and subtract numbers between 10 and 20. So exciting things coming up! and I'm definitely looking forward to discussing it with you guys. As usual, make sure to click the like button if you like this video. Comment below if you guys love mangoes and which type of mango is your favorite. Mine would be bitter skin. You probably know that type of mango if you grew up in the country. Um, the skin is bitter, like the name suggests, and it's really, really tiny. But growing up, I used to love bitter skin mango. But yeah, so comment below your favorite type. Be sure to subscribe and click the post notification bell if you'd like to be notified whenever the following videos for this series or any of my videos are uploaded. Finally, be a friend and tell a friend. Remember, we are all in this together because math is life.